Okay, bit of a different location for this video. We are in Corsica and I've been here for the last few days with ASICS testing some shoes like the Fuji Speed 2 and some exciting new products that they have coming out next year which I'm not allowed to speak about just yet. But yeah, the main purpose of this video is to speak about the Fuji Speed 2 because although ASICS haven't specifically asked me to do this, I thought as a trail and mountain runner from the UK that has been around a long time, 20 years, uh, I'll be honest, I wouldn't have tried a, a, a six trail shoe. I have done in the past and haven't really got on with them. And my first ever shoe back when in my road running days was ASIC. So when I've been asked to come and test their new kind of range, especially with it being in Corsica, I jumped at the chance. The Fuji Speed 2, as you can see, is a carbon plated trail shoe. The carbon plate sits quite high in the sole which I found much better than other carbon trail shoes that I've had which sit a little bit lower. The fact that it sits a little bit higher means that you've got more ground control I think. The shoe itself, even though it has got a carbon plate, you can move it about and I think it's got a little bit of flexibility but good toe off as well. Um, one of the interesting parts of this trip was on the first morning they gave us lots of information about how they built the shoe, all the things that they tested and didn't like and one of them was, one part of it was the original carbon plate being obviously flat from road shoes. What they've done is changed that carbon plate and adjusted it so it's not just a flat piece of carbon but actually it's, um, it's shaped really differently. So you've still got that ground control, you can still feel the ground and you're not actually going to lose control of your foot speed or your leg speed running downhill. I absolutely love running downhill, it's one of my kind of strong points and the fact that I can run fast on downhill on hard ground, technical terrain and not lose control is a big plus. So I've run about 60 kilometres in these on, over the space of two or three days. So they've taken a bit of a battering on hard trails, technical trails, sandy trails, um, grassy trails. No wet trails over here at the moment. Um, there is, on the sole you can see the lug pattern and the tread. For an Asics trail shoe I think that's pretty good. If I was running on the fells or the wet kind of ground back in North Wales I'd probably be on my bum but I don't think that's what this shoe is made for. Yesterday we did the Corsica Relay with ASICS, different teams mixed up of pro elite athletes and people like myself going from one side of the island to the other. Very exciting day, lots of fun. Team UK just happened to come away with the win so that was even better. Um, but I ran each of my legs in this trail shoe. Uh, particularly the first leg that I did which was only around six kilometers long but yeah quite a steep gradient up so when I was hiking I could really feel the carbon plate helping yeah so it's taking the pressure off the Achilles and the calves a little bit with that stiffness but what I really noticed was the long technical downhill and I dropped about 450 meters in a kilometer and a half so that's very steep it was very technical and yeah I was running with one of the elites Andrew Simon He's obviously a very good descender and we had great fun running down here. After about 100 metres of dropping down I could really feel I had the confidence in this shoe. Um, yeah, I hit a few rocks and it's got good protection at the front. Like I say I've done about 50 to 60 kilometres in it and the upper seems pretty durable but light. It's a woven upper bit of protection around the toe box. Yeah, what I like about the new ASICS trail shoes as well is just really simple things like the lacing system and the tongue, yeah, it's really nice, didn't move all day, felt really light but with a bit of padding and yeah, like I say, from that talk on the first day you can tell that there's a lot of thought being put into this shoe um, and they have, because I've been around the hotel with the athletes and the people behind the shoe, they really take input from their athletes to build their shoes which is very important. I think back home in the UK you can pick these up for around £150, I would have to check that. But when prices are getting a little bit more for carbon plated shoes on the road, definitely, I think that's a good price point for this shoe. It weighs no more than 260 grams in my size 9, again I'll have to check, I'll put it below in the description. But it doesn't feel like 260 grams even, okay. So it 
the weight is very evenly distributed and like I've said in other videos with other shoes and other brands they may have a weight that is 260 grams or 270 grams but all the weight is in one area and it's not evenly distributed and it can feel heavier than that um, yeah really well thought out shoe uh, locked in at the heel very well like I say steep ups steeps downs dealt with that very well we had lots of fast runnable trail and sections of road and I'm not the fastest road runner obviously so when I get onto a road section or, f uh, or a fast flat hard trail section and I've got the kind of toe off and the springiness from that carbon plate that was really enjoyable yeah at one point I was getting very hot I was getting a little bit tired on my longer leg and my pacer Andrew was kind of pushing the pace on a little bit as we were leading I felt very tired I've done no running for six weeks but the shoe helped um yeah I really enjoy it what kind of runs would I use it for back home because obviously I've been out on the Corsica trails I live on the trails and um, the mountain bike trails and the forest trails where it's hard packed fire road I'm going to be using these in the next few weeks on my faster sessions on my hard uphill tempos on my longer easier runs but on that on around those forest paths I'm not going to take them out onto the mud because I don't think that's what they're designed for and yeah I'll probably do another video once I've ran in these for a few weeks back home in the UK but yeah very excited to just have a new brand enter the UK trail shoe market with a decent shoe now while I'm here I may as well mention the rest of the kit that I've been testing which is the it's like a performance trail running shirt and it's still wet from yesterday's run where I've rinsed it because it was a very sweaty day so it was very salty but yeah for Asics are obviously a premium brand they know how to make good kit and the fact that they're moving into the trail is um yeah I wasn't surprised that this top was very good I was hot I was sweaty but it didn't hold on to that sweat yeah it evaporated very easily yes obviously it was wet by the end of the day but <laughs> yeah it didn't didn't slow me down it wasn't irritated didn't rub me anywhere it's such a nice material um yeah hope I'm not even sure if this is available I assume it is <laughs> um, but if it's not it will be very soon and it is very nice along with that the kind of flagship jacket for the trails it, it didn't rain at all but I wore it on the bus and I've worn it about and I wore it for my easy run yesterday morning and yeah I didn't overheat in it it's rated at 20,000, 20,000, both for waterproofness and breathability, which is a big sign. Now I've been buying waterproofs for 15 to 20 years, and so I know when a jacket is well made. There's lots of nice little details, just like the thumb holes. It fits me well. The hood is very well constructed. Granted, I haven't, I haven't tested it out in the rain, but I could run very easily in Corsica in the morning. I didn't overheat in it which yeah was a nice feeling so again um, another nice addition to the whole range really and what I'm going to do is just go for some runs out in the forest when it's raining it'll be raining by the time I get home and keep you updated really because like I say ASICS invited me over to test this new kit and see what they're doing and I'm kept it pretty short here I'm un under no obligation to show you all this kit but yeah I think in the UK it's been dominated by a few brands and ASICs moving into it I'm happy to spread the word because it's good quality kit um, I'll leave it there for today I've shown you some footage of the shoe and if you've got any questions just stick them in the description and I'll just throw up another two or three minute video because I don't want to keep you too long right thank you for ASIC for inviting me down I will just before I go show you the view of the hotel it's been a great few days mixing with the athletes, mixing with the people behind ASICS, the designers, um, the sales team, everyone involved with ASICS. It's been a great few days. So yeah, goodbye from Corsica and I will see you back on the rainy trails of the UK.